Okay, I just can't, can't, can't stop doing these Incarnate videos because there's just so much happening. So, welcome back to Incarnate, welcome back to Infinite Roleplay. My name is Nelson, your totally immersed power gamer and uh, cartographer. Now, enough of that, go back to Incarnate. Last video I did uh, was, well, sort of kind of complaining about volcanoes. A buddy of mine over at the Map Makers Consortium group on Facebook did a, a quick render of how he would do volcanoes after watching that video and it was an ingenious solution as far as the visual effect I still say that they need actual volcano objects because I'll, I'll show you buddy of mine is Brian over at the, the Map Makers Consortium, great map maker, great artist, and this is his, his rendition of it. Um, when you see mine, mine's gonna look horrible because I just did it real quick for, for demonstration because I really don't like it, but this is uh, my little version of it and it's done simply enough. You know, the more time and care you take the better the effect will be but it's just taking the borders roads and lava to create a little mountain you know the size of the brush you do have to take the softness down because if you if you have the softness up I'll show you a little demonstration if you try to draw that with the softness up that's gonna happen it's gonna get blurry you're not going to want that to create your, your volcano. So take the softness down, take the brush size down. Switch over to roads. Give some highlights and stuff. And head over to the lava. Put the lava in there. Ooh. Drag that down a little more and just squidgle the lava down. It's like an active volcano almost. Ooh -hoo. You know, and that's that's pretty much how you can create a, a basic volcano. Um which is an ingenious solution. You can get some custom looking volcanoes. The problem is is that if it's not the the absolute final thing on your map or if you change your mind about uh, where you want your forests and say so you do something like this you get too close and then it starts blending in and you can literally erase your volcano whether you want to or not that's a problem also when you're dropping mountains okay these mountain ranges are in front of the volcano but you could never get behind. So you can never have that layered effect. Or, I'm not going to say never, but that layered effect will take a lot more care. You can do it similar to this. And then have to go in and delete that one because it overlaps. You know, that's, that's another way of getting a volcano, which really is an ingenious solution. You can get your custom volcano. Just draw it on like playing with a normal uh, art program or map. But it does have its, its drawbacks as well. So, uh, Incarnate, please give us some volcanoes. We need some volcanoes. It means I'm sad. <laughs> uh I'm a, I'm kidding. I'm not sad. Well, it's because I have Photoshop, but not all of us have that. So, please hook that up, uh, ladies and gents. Don't let that discourage you from using Incarnate. If you've watched any of the other videos leading up to this one, it really is a, a powerful program to to start making maps, especially if you don't have. Uh, the funds or to invest in Photoshop or the patience to learn 
GIMP. Until next time, my name is Nelson. This has been Infinite Roleplay. And uh, hope you enjoy yourselves. Have a nice day. Peace.